Reduce the Boolean expression given below using K map f of p q s r equals pi 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 step 1 for a four variable boolean expression in the pi format you can draw the empty k map four rows and four columns the first two variables must be written here and the next two variables must be written here remember it is given as s and r in the same order it must be written now pi means each and every term is a plus term so you can write p plus q s plus r p and q are boolean variables they can take either 0 or 1 so write all the combinations of zeros and ones so that you get gray code it can be written like this double zero double one now on the right hand side you can write zero one then from bottom to top zero one this combination zero 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 one 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 zero is known as gray code pi means every term is a plus term so you can write zero plus zero zero plus one and so on the same combination must be written here zero plus zero zero plus one one plus one and uh, 1 plus 0 now uh, pi means it is product and uh, sigma means it is sum in alphabetical order p comes first when compared to s in ascending order 0 comes first when compared to 1 so in the case of pi or product 0 is given importance which means 0 should be replaced with a variable and 1 should be replaced with a complement so you can write p plus q p plus q complement p complement plus q complement p complement plus q first position is for p the second position is for q zero should be replaced with a variable and one should be replaced with a complement similarly you can write s plus r s plus r complement s complement plus r complement and s complement plus r because the first position is for s second position is for r zero should be replaced with a variable one should be replaced with a complement now if you consider this binary cell the binary number that comes there is 0 0 0 0 write the decimal equivalent again if you consider this cell the binary number that comes there is 0 0 0 1 you can write the decimal equivalent similarly in all the cells you can write the decimal equivalent so step one is over drawing the empty k map for this four variable boolean expression in the pi format now in these cells you need to mark zero because in pi zero is given importance cell one you can mark zero cell two you can mark zero cell three zero cell four zero so in all the cells six 5 6 7 8 and 10 now in the remaining cells you need to mark 1 now third step somehow try to find 16 adjacent zeros if that is not possible 8 otherwise 4 otherwise 2 and 1 16 is not possible because only 9 terms are there so you will never get 16 adjacent zeros only nine terms are there so you will not get eight adjacent zeros will you get four adjacent zeros yes these four zeros form a group using the left out zero will you get four these are all left out zeros one two for a left out zero overlapping is there three and four again this is a left out zero will you get four adjacent zeros yes one 2 overlapping is there 3 and 4 now this is a left out 0 will you get 4 adjacent zeros no now 4 is not possible ruled out will you get 2 adjacent zeros yes uh, 1 the cell that comes here the k map can be rolled horizontally and vertically so after this cell the cell that comes here is this so these two zeros form a group these two now no more left out zeros now second last step check whether redundant groups are there g1 is not a redundant group because this zero is not there in any other group so all the zeros of g1 
are not there in any other group so g1 not redundant is g2 redundant it is not redundant because these are the four zeros of g2 and this zero is not there in any other group so all the zeros are not there in any other group is g3 redundant these are the four zeros of g3 and you can see that this zero is not there in any other group so all the zeros of g3 are not there in any other group so not redundant is g4 redundant no because these are the two zeros of g4 and they are not there in any other group so this problem does not contain redundant group now let me simplify the various groups let me simplify g1 for that for every zero you need to mark the left hand side and top so uh, now let me go a little fast for these four zeros you can see that the left hand side is this and the top is these four so let me mark it fast now left hand side there is only one term you cannot simplify that take as it is top s is not a stable variable because here it does not change the state but here it changes the state so s is not stable r changes the state here itself so r is also not a stable variable so for g1 the simplified form is p plus q complement only this now let me simplify g2 in order to simplify g2 for every zero you mark the left hand side and the top again take the next zero left hand side already marked you can mark the top you consider the next zero mark the left hand side top already marked consider the next zero left hand side marked top marked which is a stable variable on the left hand side p q is not stable because it changes the state from q to q complement which is a stable variable on the top r complement s is not stable because it changes the state from s to s complement so for g2 the simplified form is p plus r complement again you can simplify g3 for simplifying g3 for every zero of g3 mark the left hand side mark the top next to zero of g3 left hand side already marked you can mark the top next to zero of g3 mark the left hand side top already marked next to zero of g3 mark the left hand side mark the top so you can see that left hand side stable variable p top the stable variable is s complement because r complement changes the state from r complement to r so it is p plus s complement finally let me simplify g4 for every zero mark lhs and top again next to zero lhs marked you can mark the top now lhs contains only one term you cannot simplify that take as it is top the stable variable is r because s changes the state from s to s complement so simplified form for g4 is p complement plus q plus r now pi means it is product so the final simplified expression is you need to multiply all these terms so for this boolean expression in the pi format this is a simplified form using k map